Hey guys, welcome to the next episode in the Celtic Let's Play on Football Manager 2013 in the Premier League. And uh, I know what you're thinking, I said uh, the next game was going to be against Fulham, but uh, this has cropped up. I think this is uh, something which kind of annoys me, to be honest, the way fixtures just appear. Um, basically, uh, it's the FA Cup, as you can see, it says here at the top, English FA Cup, this is the fourth round. And the reason it was not uh, in the fixture list uh, previously was because it was... Um, already being played out like West Ham had to play their replay so um, it wasn't like a registered fixture for us because we didn't know who we were playing and I think I'd like to see at least some sort of placeholder in the, in the thing it does get kind of annoying um, but on some more pressing matters you may notice a certain new player in the team and that is Paul Pogba I've decided to loan him I know I know a, a slightly uh, common signing in football manager but you know I, th I thought he, he's he, why not you know I need a little bit of extra I need, I need a little bit of extra thing in midfield thought I'd play it I've also made another signing in midfield and uh, instantly that's pissed off a lot of people including Dylan McGeo who I will be selling because uh, he's just thrown a massive strop and and Verum Kyle also he's also thrown a bit of a strop but uh, I'm not even using him and quite frankly I think I can sell him for a bit of money I know he's not that I know he's good but as you can see, they thought there were too many rival players. Uh, but the reason for that is because of uh, where are they? Oh, hang on. <laughs> I still, I'm still not used to this um, new layout. Oh, it's not new anymore, is it? Really? Damn it! Where is, where's my transfers? God damn it! I don't actually because I'm, I'm used to the FMC skin. God damn it! Hang on, there it is. God, what am I doing? <laughs> Dear me, right. Um, I bought in Pogba on loan, no wages, I'm only paying like a few thousand pounds um, a month. And I've also brought in Christian Brocci, or Brocchi, from uh, Lazio. He's on very small amount of wages, he's lacking match fitness at the moment, uh, but he's 36. I'm hoping this guy will be my, Gar my sort of Gary McAllister. You know, of course, when Liverpool brought him in, in uh, well, when Jared Tudor rather brought him in in 1999 uh, 2000, a lot of people were just like, what? Why has he brought him in? He's, he's ancient, you know, he's not going to be any good. And he became an integral part of that treble winning team, of course, in the UEFA Cup, the FA Cup and the League Cup. Um, and is considered a bit of a legend around these parts. So, yeah, and also one of my favourite all-time players, actually, a very, very fine player. Uh, so we're going to get into this then. So Celtic Park, West Ham, FA Cup, maybe we can win this competition. Who knows? Uh, playing a slightly different uh, alter team here, we've got Rogic up front, Johnston's playing, Hoylick does continue to play in Wanyama. It, I'm playing also a goalkeeper here. I'm giving uh, Zaluska uh, a run out, uh, but it's not. It's far from first team, but it's not a, a young team like I usually do. But I don't think I really. Uh, I don't. I'm not going to take the piss with the Celtic team since it isn't the biggest squad in the world. I do like to have a big squad, but you know, re relatively small first team squad with tons of backup young players. If you know, if, if that makes sense. I think that that is the best description I can give of it. Paulo Ferreira continues to play. Also. We have uh, Fulham uh, on Wednesday now, so that's been moved to say that the fixture got moved because of the FA Cup tie, which I know is silly, but deal with it. <laughs> it's football manager. It's, just, it's not bugged or anything, but, you know, a lot of things can happen with this game. Ooh, and scramble in the box. But th this formation, man, I, I really, I'm really happy with this formation I've made, it's, uh, or this tactic, rather. It's, it has served me well. I mean, okay, it didn't do me a whole lot of a lot of good at Roma oh and Junior Hoylet I'm hoping the Roma save will be out of this it should be out uh, by the time this video has gone up uh, but it didn't do me a whole lot of good at Roma but I think that was a, that was a lost cause as soon as I stepped in the door to be honest with you a bit like Rafa Benitez at Chelsea um, and for some reason they again I'll, I'll, I'll bring up the, the sort of bizarre rivalry that that comes up between Roma and Liverpool I, I seriously don't understand that I, is it, I, I, I cannot I know people have probably explained it to me in the comments but I don't do not understand that one at all anyway here's big Andy Carroll Oof, he's at the post uh, you already know my feelings on Carroll and uh, anything in between that you know but to be fair a last minute derby winner at Wembley 35 20 million I guess you know, if we break if we take into account the 15 million West Ham West Ham are supposedly paying uh, 20 million pounds 20 million pounds to score a last minute winner in a Wembley Cup semi-final against Everton I'll take that Twenty million pounds. Go ahead. <laughs> no, seriously. If you, if you are coming outside of that, you really, I'm sure you know. Apply that to your derby, and I'm sure you'd be willing to pay many, many millions for it. <laughs> now, I'm just being theoretical, but that is a lovely Rogic goal, and that's one nil against the Hammers. And I'm feeling a lot more confident about this team now. 
I say that now, we're going to concede like three in the space of about five minutes. <laughs> you just watch. Uh, now that's good. Uh, good tracking back by Gershon. Gives it to the goalkeeper uh, Zaluska, who I will at least be fair to fair enough to give a run out to in the cup in the cup competition. Oh, and a decent ball potentially from Paulo Ferreira. Here's Pogba. And Lustig Johnston. It's two 0 Lovely goal from a difficult angle from Danny Johnston. It looks like we're going through. I think this is the fourth round, so this will be the uh, fifth. Going through potentially to the fifth round. Looking good value indeed. Good stuff. I'm very pleased. So you see, and there, this is a point of sort of you know. Remember to always be persistent with your saves. You know, don't give up at the first hurdle just because you've had a run of three games. You know, undefeated. I mean, that, that's what the Roma board did with me. <laughs> you know, you don't give up in the game just because you know you've had a bit of a shitty run. I mean, the shitty runs happen. Um, is Hoylet? Oh, it's a good tackle in the end from the West Ham player. I thought you never know when when a tackle goes in in the box it can always be a penalty possibly you know especially when you're in 2d classic because you can't quite exactly see what's going on but that's the beauty of it you know use your imagination i think uh, what i like now as well is a lot of virtually almost all uh, well not all but you know a lot of fm commentators now are, are coming over to the site obviously using 2d classic which is good you know I mean, not, not to mention obviously if you use the sort of nostalgia factor oh it's got to be three nil david bentley you know you use the nostalgia factor of previous cms and fms uh, you know, everyone used to play in 2D Classic. Hell, I mean, if you even go back further, I remember the first FM game, uh, sorry, championship manager I played was, of course, the, I think it was 2000 and 2001. I think it was, it was sort of 2001 ish. I can't remember. It was about then, 2001, 2002, a season, I think. Could be, uh, could be, uh, could be just a year out or two, either way. Uh, but, um, you know, it was all, it was just text commentary. Oh, that's going to be a goal for Carol. See what I mean? I said this in the last video about how. There's a really good tackle by one of the players and it just breaks for a fucking opposition player. It happened to me in FIFA the other day. Whoa, 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 whoa. Was that a goal? That's a goal. That's a goal. What? That went in. That ball is, is in. That's not gone behind. That's heading right for the net. Has it got what? What? What the hell is going on? I whoa whoa! Put this into HD now. You're not going to be able to see that. What? That's on target. That's in the back of the net. What the, what the, it says something there. There's a commentary piece. Hang on, let me just do this. It strikes the foot of the post and goes out. No, it doesn't. What? Well, yeah. That's gone in. That's not gone round the back. It can't. Oh my god, we have got away with murder. I don't. I will, let me put this into two D. Uh, sorry, three D. Or TV, whatever. Are you, I can't believe that just happened. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Or am I going crazy? I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. Let me just see this. Whoa, fucking hell! Yeah, look, you can see the net, Russell. Hang on. No, there's there's the ball. Sorry, I'm looking at something else. I've lost the ball. Oh, it's in there. It's over the line. What the fuck? That's gone it. What? I am so confused. Look, here's a better angle. Now there, it's going. What? It's going out. What is in? Oh my god! The ghost goal. <laughs> oh my days! That is bizarre. I have never seen that before. No, I said two D. Sorry, wrong one. Camera. Yeah, to it, whatever. Um, oh my days, that is just strange. Unless it did go wide and like the frames all weird. I've never seen that before. That is strange. Uh, right, okay, we're going to take Hoylet off and we're going to bring on... 
Well, I like his Aguirre on the left, actually, as a sort of attacking. I know he's a defender, but I like him in that sort of attacking role. He actually sort of works. I think he can actually play there, if I recall correctly. Could be wrong. Oh, and Pogba, it's gone in from Gershon. First ever goal for Celtic for the uh, defender. And Pogba nearly got a goal in his debut. So that's 4 1 against the Hammers. And I said, well, this is a really good game when you can see there. <laughs> What's just happened there? Well, have West Ham been cheated out of a goal? Or what? That is just... I can't get over that. What, have you ever seen anything like this? Please say in the comments or something. Because I've never... I, I can't understand. That was surely a goal. I mean, okay, I mean, I don't know whether obviously it would have meant anything at this stage. But, you know, it would have been 3-2. Well, Here's Carroll. Oh, good save, goalkeeper. Well, um, West Ham is still fighting, which is fair enough. I think actually, you know what, I think I might give Rogic and Johnston another run out soon because Gary Hooper really, although he is good and obviously you can't take anything away from him, he has scored a fair amount of goals this season. Um, he is he is a very hit and miss on this at the moment. I'm not saying he is in real life, I have no opinion on him in real life at the moment. I think he possibly should be brought into the England team, but obviously he won't because Roy Hodgson rules over a backwards um, system, but um, at least, or at least, at least he should give Hooper a chance. At least give him a chance. Uh, but on this, he's very hit and miss. You know, some days he'll be absolutely on the peak of his game, but when he isn't, he's just anonymous and just might as well not be on the field. When <laughs> I think I should really have told Wanyama not to shoot, but I'm not going to have a go too much at four one. Oh, and Bentley got a fair amount of curl on that, but. Escalina was equal to it, and I think now this should be the last action of the game. Come on, ref, blow up, please. There we go. Johnston done very, very well. So is that a man of the match from him? No, it's not. It was from Rami Gershon, in fact. So an absolutely fantastic performance. And let's see then. So who are we going to get next? There's the Fulham game coming up. So uh, before you do, write in the comments saying, Where is the Fulham game? It's next. Okay, it's not me being stupid and putting the videos out of order. It's just uh, the game being silly. So yeah, fifth round we go. That's kind of cool. Don't forget, of course, we're in Europe as well. Soon after we uh, qualify through the group stages, we have to play Manchester City, though, which isn't going to be very good as we uh, got a bit battered by them at Eastlands and lost 2-0, so I can't actually see us progressing. And I know, obviously, we you really shouldn't actually be getting uh, your teams from your home country in, in this stage, but obviously we're based in Scotland, therefore, you know, we, we technically can. But, you know, since we uh, since we returned as such, you know, from Sunderland, and have introduced this tactic, with the exception of the Man City game, which, you know, was a dead, it was dead, dead in the water, wasn't it? We've had some really good wins, so really excited to see what we can, where we can go in the future so we're going to the fifth round of the FA Cup which I think the draw when is the draw actually it'll be on oh it's tomorrow will it go on I'll, I'll, I'll let you see the draw as well see if we get any ah here we go yeah yeah yeah, yeah. let me just respond to this so you can have them fifth round then so uh, York City and Rochdale are still in there apparently let's go then so we got at first team out oh, very good I'm going to be playing ah Watford or Bolton so a good tie Oof, they still haven't just <laughs> sorted their difference. So, yeah, there's, well, there's not a lot of big teams in here. I mean, there's no Arsenal, there's no United. Chelsea are still in there. Liverpool and Tottenham are in there. Everton. This is certainly winnable. You know, if Blackpool do a good job, which is entirely possible. I can't see Tottenham losing to Derby or York. Sorry, Rams fans, but, you know. Uh... Norwich maybe could beat them in Southampton. Liverpool have got to get past the tricky Southampton tie first. But no, Watford and Bolton. I would happily play either of them. So that's a good one. Potentially win this competition. We go through to the sixth round, you know, if we win either one of these, which I say is very, very winnable. So the next game then is going to be against Fulham. That's in a few days' time. I better rest the players. Uh, oh, hang on. Am I, have I gone over budget slightly? I am over budget. I need to adjust that. Probably should just bring that down. And people are hammering away outside. They need to shut that window. Right. Um, yeah, I think that'll be okay. Obviously, I need to I need to balance it so that if I do bring another player in, I can still at least afford his wages. So, yeah. Uh, that's going to do it for me. Then. So, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.